Hi guys, it's Joanne from 15 Spatulas. Today I have an extra midweek video for you, and I still have a new recipe video coming this Thursday as usual, so be sure to come back for that. But sometimes I like to do blog posts where I share cool kitchen things that I've discovered lately, so I thought it'd be really fun to do a video. I'm gonna share five cooking related things that I'm loving lately. The first thing I wanna share with you is living lettuce. I was making lettuce wraps the other night and I was at the grocery store and the lettuce that I normally buy was all brown and wilted so I started looking at the other options and I saw this living lettuce and I thought it was really gimmicky at first but it's cheap so I bought it and when I got home it was like the most beautiful gorgeous head of lettuce I'd ever seen. It was so fresh. So basically this is just a head of lettuce that has the roots and a little bit of soil attached to the bottom and it's just so amazingly fresh, I love it. Cooking related love number two is the splatter screen. So I've known about these for quite a while, but I only bought one recently because I've always had electric stove tops and whenever oil splattered everywhere, it was kind of a pain to clean, but at the same time it was a flat surface, so I could just kind of wipe it up. But now I have this gas range, and whenever the oil splatters everywhere, it's like I have to take off the metal grates, and in addition to that, the oil seems to kind of rise up with the steam and get all of the microwave and the cabinets. It's just so much easier to use one of these. You just put it right on top of your pan and I especially love it for bacon because then you don't get oil kind of sputtering all over your arms and burning you. So I just love this invention. Now we're on to number three. I've been reading more cooking related books lately and I recently listened to a book I've been wanting to read for a really long time, My Life in France by Julia Child. And I listened to it through a service called Audible. It's basically an online library of audiobooks and they have over 150,000 titles. And normally when I'm at home cleaning or cooking, I like to listen to music, but I started listening to audiobooks instead and I really love it. So this book, My Life in France, is an autobiography by Julia Child and is actually compiled in the last several months of her life and it's really awesome just to learn about all the experiences that she had in France and how they influenced her life and basically the cooking that she shared with us because she was such a pioneer of home cooking in America. So you can get this free audiobook at audible.com slash 15 spatulas or any other free audiobook of your choice. You can also get a free 30-day trial membership at audible.com slash 15 spatulas as well. If you have any cool cooking book recommendations, let me know in the comment section below. Coming in at number four is balsamic glaze. So I actually have used balsamic glaze before. I used it in my butternut squash crostini video that I posted last Thanksgiving, but I recently found white balsamic glaze. And if you've never had balsamic glaze before, it's basically a reduction of balsamic vinegar. It's thicker and it's kind of syrupy. It's definitely more sweet and it's not gonna punch you in the mouth with acidity like some of the balsamic vinegars do. So this stuff is great to drizzle on flatbreads, bruschetta. Uh, my grandma actually drizzles it on her ice cream, <laughs> which might sound a little bit strange, but it's actually really good. It's kind of like a, it tastes like a fruity syrup on top of your ice cream. The last thing I'm loving is a kitchen tool that I am newly obsessed with. It's a spiralizer, and I totally never wanted to get one of these because don't we all have so many kitchen gadgets already, but this thing is so much fun. So basically, it allows you to turn things like zucchini into noodles, and I like to toss these with some fresh herbs and some olive oil and vinegar, and it's just so fresh and summery and delicious. I just, I love this tool. It's, it's worth having in my tiny <laughs> New York kitchen. So these are my five cooking related things that I'm loving lately. If there are any cool kitchen gadgets or foods that you've discovered lately, let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on Thursday with a new recipe. <laughs> I just wanna do this all day, it's so fun.